Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Tomb Raider Legend is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. I believe this was the first Tomb Raider game out of, um, like, Legend, Anniversary, and Underworld. Yeah, I think it came out a few years prior. But we shall see. I mean, it seems pretty good. Ooh, widescreen. Oh god, look at it. She becomes very thin. Very skinny. I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't think you need to. Maybe, maybe it would have cleaned up the cleaned up the image, but I'd rather not chance it. It might break the game, who knows? So Bolivia Tibanaku. Doesn't this one start on like the side of a mountain or something? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Just because no one's ever caught one doesn't mean they're not real. That is very true, but Oh, you can skip. Thank God. I've been looking for certain artifacts. Well, for some time now. And an old friend working in the powers hey. of the world rather promising me. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone nice. dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh, well. Where would this suspect be otherwise? Hmm. Yeah, you can do the, um, like, non-stop roll. There's a bit of a issue with the plants. Like, they seem to load it load out. I mean, look at them. Yeah, they just kind of, like, change shape. And you get close and they look completely different. It's very weird. Hey, that's what I was looking for. Nice. I don't remember what picking them things up actually does. Oh, wow, the controller never stopped vibrating. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, come on. Do I have to? Unless you eat it, then you'll have to wait an hour. Ooh. Yeah, this was before they got all like floaty with the controls when moving things. That was something they changed in. I'm pretty sure it was Underworld. But yeah, the plant life is really weird. Like it's fine, it's not really an issue, but it does it looks corrupted. And then you get close to it and it like loads in. It's kinda like texture popping, honestly. You know, like a very early <laughs> version of it. Turn on the flashlight. We made it! Maybe. No, we didn't. No, we made it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't... St oh, God, no. <laughs> I thought it was a cinematic. Never mind. Yeah, it doesn't start on the side of a mountain. But you have to make your way up a mountain. Yeah, and I noticed in that cutscene... It's not even the plant plant life, it's just details on quite a lot of things. Careful. I know. This will be a long trip otherwise. I forgot you were such an optimist. What? Oh, move that. Okay. Toward the ledge. And boom. Hooray! Yes, we're now saving the game will checkpoint. I was say, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I wasn't close at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I thought that would work. Isn't there something behind? No. Could have sworn behind one of them. Yeah, the controller does not stop vibrating. When you're near running water, which... I'm not a fan of. So maybe it was vibrating when you were underwater. Because of the waterfall, maybe? I'm hoping it, that's the case. Just being in water and making the controller go crazy, not something I'm a fan of. Alright, it's whenever you're near water. Yeah, because the controller's going crazy. Sheesh. Oh. I win. Ooh. 
I haven't the foggiest. He's deliberately unremarkable. Is that good or bad? It's deliberate, which isn't good. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can push this down. I don't remember why. Oh yeah, I do. Because it brings the the branch up, which allows us to use it. Yay! The one thing I would definitely suggest when when playing this is disabling vibration, unless you want the motors in your uh, controller to die. I usually turn off vibration anyway. In all honesty, but yeah, it does have some issues with like text distant textures. They seem to just be rather busted. But it's like they show up as corrupted, but then they're fine. Even their textures are screwy. Like on their trousers. Weird. I don't know if she said quiet or quiet. Who knows? There we go. Oh, I don't remember where I go with this. I think... Over here? Yeah, I think this is right. Kaboom! Nice. I could have probably done it straight over the waterfall. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. There we are. Oh. Completely forgot I don't actually have to press R1 each time. Now you can just hold it down and she'll just continually shoot. God, so snazzy. Look at all that corrupted texture. Though performance has been perfect. Or like, very close. Too perfect. Oh wait, if I kick these down... Sucker! It's her! I like how that guy marches back into it, just so he definitely hits it. Very nice. Well, there we go. Oh, why would I dodge? I can't shoot when dodging. And that's just no fun. I think as soon as I get oh, as soon as I get close to any of the textures that showed up as just kind of like black squares, they seem to load in. So, ah, done. So yeah, not too bad actually. It's better than Underworld's performance, that's for sure. And I would have to say that Tomb Raider Legend is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.